Hey there, thanks for joining me for today's practice. Today is a whole body flow, it's great for the morning or any time throughout the day if you're just wanting a shorter practice. Let's make a start standing, so just make sure you're comfortable coming to the top of your mat and let's bring the feet hip distance apart and we'll start with the hands in our prayer position, just in front of our chest and closing down the eyes. Just taking a few moments here. Settle into the breathing. Just notice the weight falling down through the feet. And as the weight falls down, just imagine that length up and out through the crown of the head. Just allowing yourself to come to this present moment, bringing all of yourself. And gently opening up the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side. Let's take the arms out to the side. Big inhale, reach the arms up, palms and hands come together, and then exhale, draw the hands down through the center line. And then again, inhale, reach the arms out, Palms and hands come together, look up towards the thumbs, and then exhale. And then one more time, inhaling. And then exhale. And then we're gonna bend the knees and slide the hands down the thighs, coming into a flat back position here. So gently press into the thighs. You can bend those elbows to draw those shoulders back, long through the back of the neck. Gently hugging the belly button in towards the spine and slowing down the in-breath in through the nose, and then out through the nose. And once again, in through the nose, and out through the nose. Just keep going, and if Ujjayi breathing is part of your practice, you might bring in that Ujjayi breathing. And we're just gonna add a count to the breath. So finishing off your last exhale, and then on the next inhale, counting one, two, three, four, drawing the navel in and up. Exhale, keep drawing the navel in and up for four, three, two, one. And again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhaling, one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. Exhaling now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhaling, one, two, three, four. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Inhaling, one, two, three, four, exhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just continue your breathing. You can let go of the counting. And then let's press down through the feet, reach the arms out to the side, take a big inhale, exhale, bring the hands down through the center of the chest and then forward fold. Let yourself fold all the way down. Let the head relax. Inhale into your halfway lift. Hands can come under the shin bones and keep your knees bent. And then exhale, bend through the knees and take a spine roll to come all the way up. One more time, just like that. Inhale, palms down together. Exhale, draw the hands down through the center line, folding forward, bending through the knees as much as you need to. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees and spine rods come all the way up. Let's leave the arms down by your side for a moment. And then let's take those arms forward and up. Inhaling, reach the arms up. We're going to drop the tailbone down. Pelvis shifting slightly forward and keep circling those arms all the way back. Take the hands onto the back of the felt pelvis, fingers pointing up. 
Drop the tailbone down, squeeze the elbows in, lifting the eyes up. If you feel comfortable, you can let the hair drop back. And then coming back up. Folding all the way down. Uttanasana, let the arms be relaxed. Knees can be bent. And then inhaling, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step that right foot back, coming into your sprinter's lunge. Palms can be flat or you can be on your fingertips, your choice. Think about that sternum reaching forward. Press the back of the right thigh up towards the ceiling. And then let's take that left arm forward, palm facing in towards the midline. I'm going to take an inhale, let the hips drop down a little bit more and then take that left arm back, circling all the way back. Exhale, and then inhale, let the hips sink a little bit as you reach it forward, and then exhale, lifting the hips up, and inhale, circle, and then exhale back. Just one more time, inhale, forward, exhale, back. Bring the hand down by the outside of that left foot, and then we're going to start to straighten into this left leg, just to where you can. And if you need to keep this slightly bent, that's fine. Try to lift that right heel up. Let's take an inhale into our halfway lift. You can come up under the fingertips. And then exhale, fold. Let's take a couple of breaths here. And then bending into that left leg, take an inhale. Plant that right heel down to the midline of the mat so it's lining up with your left heel and then walk your hands around to the inside of that left leg and walk your hands out on the diagonal as if you're in your down facing dog torso here. Lengthening up through both sides of the waist. Armpits wrapping in to face one another. And then walk your hands back, framing the front foot. Come onto the ball of that right foot. Step back, down facing dog. Take an inhale to come forward into your plank position. Long through the spine. Wrist just for a little bit further forward of the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, come down to the knees chest and chin. Squeeze those elbows in, release the tops of the feet down, release the belly down. Inhale, baby cobra or a little bit high if you feel comfortable. Shift the weight back towards the heels, tuck the toes under and down dog. Let's take three breaths here. Steady the gaze in between the ankles. And then on the next inhale, rise up onto the balls of the feet slightly. Take that right heel up towards your three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Reach the arms up alongside the ears. Let's press that left heel back, maybe sinking a little bit deeper in that front leg. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, let's circle the arms back behind you, interlacing the hands behind the back. Option here to try to straighten those arms a little bit. Heels, come, heels of the hands coming together. Lift the chest, reach the hands back, inhale. Exhale, release those hands down, frame the front foot. Lifting up into your standing split, trying to lift that left heel up. And then soften both knees, tuck that left knee behind the right and take it back up. And you can open that hip out, inhale. And then exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, and exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, extend, and exhale, bend. Last time, extend, and then let's step it forward into your Uttanasana, 
Feet can stay hip distance, let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And bend through the knees, take a spinal roll to come up. Sweep the arms forward and up. Inhale. Exhale, hips forward, circle the arms back. Take the hands onto the back of the pelvis, fingers pointing up if you can, squeeze the elbows in, maybe dropping the head all the way back. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step that left leg back. So you're coming into your sprinter's lunge. Hands flat or onto your fingertips. Trying to press the back of that left thigh up towards the ceiling. And if you can, left palm flat now. So we can extend that right arm forward, palm facing in towards the midline. Let the hips drop down a little bit more. Inhale and then exhale. Lift the hips up a little bit as you circle that right arm back. Drop the hips forward. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, circle back. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhaling. And exhale. Now bring that right hand to the outside of that right foot. Starting to straighten into this right leg. Lifting that uh, left heel up. Drawing both quadriceps up. And if you need to keep this right leg slightly bent, that's fine. Let's take an inhale into our halfway lift. Extend out through the spine and then exhale, fold. Just a few breaths here. Draw that right hip crease back. Draw a square off the pelvis. Now let's bend into that right leg. Place that left heel down and walk your hands around to the inside of that right leg and start to walk the hands out on the diagonal. As if you're coming into your down facing dog torso here. Long through both sides of the waist. Easy breathing. And then walk your hands over back to frame the front foot. Come under the ball of the left foot. Step back down facing dog. Inhale to come forward into your plank position. Come down knees, chest, chin. Elbows in. Release the toes. Release the belly. Inhale, cobra, squeeze the elbows in. Shift the weight back to the heels, tuck the toes under. Down dog. Just a few breaths here. Pressing down to the knuckles of the hands, particularly that middle knuckle. And then think about drawing the energy up into the armpits all the way to the hips. Lifting up under the balls of the feet slightly to take that left leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming up. Crescent moon lunge. Find your balance and then deep into that front leg. Reach that right heel back. Steady gaze with the eyes. One more inhale and then exhale, circle the arms back, interlace the fingers and option here to try to strain those arms, draw those tips of the shoulders back a little bit. Take one more inhale, reach the hands down, lift the chest up and then exhale, frame the front foot. Shifting the hands slightly forward to come into your standing split. Reach that right heel up, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. And then inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. 
and in her extend. You can open the hip out and again. In her extend. Exhale, bend. Last one. In her extend. And then stepping it forward into your Uttanasana. Bending the knees if you need to let the head relax. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Spine roll to come all the way up. Inhaling. Palms and hands come together and let's bring them down in front of the chest. Allow the eyes to close down. Just allowing the breathing to settle. Opening up the eyes. Bring the hands to the waist and then soak in the feet out. Make sure that they are hip distance apart if they're not already there. Press down into the waist. You can lift out, inhale, and then exhale, forward fold. Taking hold of the big toes with the first two fingers if you can. You can bend the knees if needed. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. And then exhale, fold, elbows out to the side. So allow the weight to shift slightly forward into the balls of feet and continue to engage the quadriceps here, especially if your legs are straight. Back of the neck is relaxed. Lifting the muscles at the base of the neck away from the ears. And then take an inhale into your halfway lift. Release the hands, soften through the knees, and just step back into a very baby down dog. So you can come down onto the knees, tops of the feet, sitting back into your Japanese seat for a moment, cupping the left hand into the right, tips of the thumbs lightly touching. And then let's sit over to one side, extend the legs out long in front. And then from here, let's bring this right foot back. So the right toes are pointing behind you. If this is really strong on your knee, if your knee's lifted, you could pop a cushion under here. If it really just doesn't work, then just bring the sole of the foot to the inside of your left thigh. Just trying to let that right hip drop down, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, stand to come forward, just to where you, where you can, holding onto the ankle or the foot. Keeping that left foot flex. Trying to drop the weight down into that right hip so you're not falling over. If you need support with your left hand, then go for that. And then taking an inhale, coming back upright, shifting the weight over to that left hand, extending that right leg long, and we'll just swap it over. Bring that left foot back. Letting that right sitting bone drop down. Take an inhale, lengthen out through the waist, and then exhale, starting to come forward. And just taking hold of that leg, that right leg where you can. Sternum's reaching towards that right foot. And then taking an inhale, coming back upright, taking that left leg long, coming down onto your back. Feet hip distance apart, heels nice and close to the sitting bones, arms down by your side. And then let's roll up through the spine, coming up into your, into your bridge here, Sutta Bandhasana. Palms the hands down, or if it feels available, and you'd like to tuck, uh, interlace the hands underneath the back and creep a little bit higher up on your shoulders if you can. Grounding down through the base of the big toes. May 
maybe lifting up the hips a bit higher for the last two breaths. And gently release those arms, unroll all the way down, bring the knees in towards the chest, give them a bit, a bit of a squeeze in, press the back of the pelvis back down, and then let's place the feet down, extending the legs long, coming into your Shavasana. So let the feet fall away from one another, arms a little bit away from the body, Closing down the eyes. Allowing the whole body to let go. With each exhale, allowing yourself to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. And it's coming to rest for the next few minutes. Feel free to stay here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.